Hi, this is Jared Fossum from the Utah Education Network, and today we're going to take a look at the Gale Research in Context for grades 6 through 12 and see what's available for you. So first of all, we're going to go to Research in Context, and Gale is a database that's going to contain academic journals and news articles, periodicals, things that are going to be academic in nature for our students. And You can see when we go to this page that it's really nice how it's set up and it has these big images and it has topics already set for you but you could certainly search for whatever it is that you want to on this page you can see you can browse all the topics that they have set up and there's quite a few of them and they also have curriculum standards here they have an advanced search which when we pull this up this would look for keywords and you can see here you can leave some words out, have or or not as well. You can look for documents with only full text, documents with images, look before or after or in between dates, different document types, publication types, content level. So they have kind of a basic, intermediate, and advanced. So if we're doing secondary, we probably want you know intermediate and advanced, but you know there may be a place where basic would work. You can search by Lexile reading level, and you can see there we've got that. So that can be really nice um, to really pinpoint that for our grade level that we're doing. So let's just search for, in this case, our topic is going to be habitats. We're going to search. And you can see 329 references come up. We have 10 biographies, 88 images, 19 videos, 134 audio selections. We have magazine articles, news articles, so there's lots here. So let's look at what this would look like if we uh, choose one of these. We're going to pick this magazine article. And we have a listen feature on every one of the pages, so whether we're using this research in contact for for 6 through 8, or if we use the younger grades or the our 9 through 12 version, it's always going to have the listen feature. On the right, we'll have the same menu. So the citation will either put it into MLA form or APA, as well as include the URL in case you want to go back to this page. You can email this, you can download it, and what's really nice is this will, this integrates very nicely to Google Drive and you could download this article to your Google Drive account and have it there. You can print this, you can make highlights and notes. For instance, if I say I really like this part, I can highlight this in a different color. You know, and this could be great for research. I can add notes. You know, use this in paper. And now this is there. I can save that in a folder. Now the one thing about doing that is that will only be for the session that I'm in. So at the end of the session I've got to either email this or print it or download it so that I have it for good. Um, and then down at the bottom of all the, the selections you will have the citation in MLA form and the URL as well. So really kind of nice here the features. If I click on more, I've got educator resources, I've got a dictionary right here, title list, I've got my own search history so I can go back, my highlights and notes, and then I can go to my folder, and this is the article that I've saved here, and then I could just download this, and this would save to my Google Drive, And that will have the highlight that I put on there and the notes as well. So that's really kind of a nice feature there. So that's a look at researching context. Let's go back and look at our the reference collection for grades 9 through 12. And you can see there's a lot more here. We've got biography, the virtual reference library, global issues, InfoTrack newsstand, and student edition, opposing viewpoints, science, and student resources. So depending on what it is that you're studying, you can really get down to the nitty-gritty details of it. So let's pull up biography in context so you can see what this looks like. 
and they're going to already have some topics and people within those topics that you could look up. But again, you could just do a search. So let's say we were searching for Abraham Lincoln, and you can see in the drop down, there's Abraham Lincoln. And it's going to give you a little bit of uh, information about Abraham Lincoln. And you've got some featured content, some biographies, references, news stories, audio, academic journals, magazines. So really great research. So instead of having your students do a search in Google, this one is going to give them the information that they're going to need and not have all the other fluff and junk that you don't want them to have. So we're going to pull up this academic journal and you can see here this this one's kind of a short one but over here I can cite this source right here in MLA or APA form. I have the URL so I can go back to this. So whether I'm using the 6 through 8 tool with the research in context or in this case biography in context or any of these other Gale resources I am able to do some really good research here. If I go to Opposing Viewpoints in Context, this one's really nice. It's going to give you some current events that are going on and, and give you different sides to the story. For instance, if we go to Animal Rights, it's going to give you some background on the issue and then give you some viewpoints on it. Some statistics, references, biographies, audio again. So really great. We've got an interactive map that we'll pull up here so you can see what it looks like. And in this case, this is the maximum fine in dollars for animal cruelty, depending on what state you live in. So really kind of interesting. They've, they've got a lot of great sources here. So this is uh, opposing viewpoints. This would be great for social studies or even an English class if you have to write a paper. That would be fantastic. If we go back, you've got science um, as well. But, but the Gale reference collection for secondary is really robust. There's lots of great things here. You also have lesson plans in Gale and some training and resources, which are really great for teachers to use and, and get some nice stuff. They've got on-demand tutorials, webinars. If we go to materials, they have scavenger hunts that are already set up for you, which are really nice. This can help guide your students through using, in this case, biography in context or any of the other databases that are within Gale. So really some fantastic materials available for teachers. You know, I'd encourage you, instead of having your students just search for stuff on Google or other search engines, to have them use the online library and especially use the Gale Reference Collection. You know, depending on what grade you're in, it's going to be fantastic for you. So go ahead and get searching.